Hey, hey, what is happening, guys? It's your boy Porky Dom here in the treasure trove at Hidden Treasure Toys. And a week last Sunday marked something truly incredible. It was, of course, the reopening of car booties across the nation. Did you get involved? Well, like a good toy finder, hunter of all things lovely that I am, I grabbed up my trusty Ninja Turtles backpack and went a hunting. And so I have got two recap videos to do of what I found at the car boots. I've fallen a little bit behind, I'll be honest. So I'm going to fire them out, rapid fire, so that I can get up to date and let you see what I found. And trust me, you do want to stick around until the end because that very first week I did in fact find sealed vintage Pokemon product. Stick around until the end. Don't go skipping forward to the end now. Stick around. See all the other cool things I found. Let's dive in, eh? So, from this angle, I think we will look at some of the larger items and then we'll flip it around and look at some of the small items I found. Up first, we have got... Now, I know that I should avoid these. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm a sucker for a plushie. They represent very little value, usually. Um, particularly for the amount of space that they would take up. But I, I couldn't resist when I saw this fellow. I just... I couldn't resist. Mainly because he looks an awful lot like my stepmother love you donna <laughs> but yeah we got a uh, stripe gremlins and he's a needs his hair styling super large i don't know 12 inch 13 14 15 inch maybe plushy quite pleased with him did notice that after i made the purchase that he's got a rather suspicious hole there in his crotch but i think he'll go on display i don't think i'll sell him I think I'll keep him. And if you're gonna buy one plushie, well, you may as well buy two, hadn't you? So I came across this at one stall, and being the big Cocoa Pops fan that I was as a kid, still am now, still my favourite cereal, I'll be honest. <laughs> I couldn't help but resist this lovely Cocoa Monkey. Um I was a little bit I paid one pound for him, by the way. One pound. And as I came to him, I thought, ah, oh, what a shame that he's missing his hat. But then when I picked him up, I realised that there it is, attached to his back. Coco Monkey completion achieved. He could do with a good wash. Um, he's pretty cool. He's from around 1990, 1991, somewhere around that time. And he's kind of jointed, has some articulation to him, much in the, in the fashion of a, a stife type bear. Um, yeah, paid one pound for him. And when I looked him up on the internet, I found that he's quite sought after. Probably around a £30, £35 plushie. But it's whether or not I can bring myself to sell him. Definitely needs a wash. But I do love a bowl of Cocoa Pops. Ah, I do. What else we got? Okay. I also picked up a... Excuse the nudity. But a naked 1978, I think. 13-inch... Migo Hulk. In pretty nice condition, really. For what he is. I think I paid £3 for him. Bargain. Had to get him. He's coming home. With me. <laughs> Maybe we should get him some clothes. I don't know. I imagine that you can get reproduction clothes for them. Um, but whether or not I bother, I'm not sure. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this one is probably not really a vintage item it has a vintage style to it but i picked this up this is a uh oldie fashioned tbf two bare feet edge skateboard that i got for i think two or three pounds at the most so yeah it's a dead giveaway that it's not in fact a vintage skateboard because right there on the middle of it it says two bare feet dot uk don't think they had a website in the 80s but Still, nevertheless, a cool thing. And I did look online. I couldn't find the same uh, multicolored board. But I did find a few examples that are sold from £15 to, to £30, I think. £35. Bit of rust to it. I don't know. Worst case scenario, I use it as a shelf. Or a wall hanger. Well, I don't know. But it's pretty cool. Couple of quid. Can't go wrong. I think with it being the first week back of the sort of grand reopening, 
and it being very very busy at the car boots that i went to i think i splurged a little bit i think i bought some items that didn't really need to buy but yeah there's a lot to get through one of the other items that i picked up was this gundam gd60 zz um robot toy pretty cool okay just 35 pounds for it i couldn't find any examples online that sold but i found some but quite high asking prices so i thought 35 pound take a risk um if it sells it sells if it doesn't it doesn't i don't think i'll show you inside but it's all in there it's a nice looking thing it is what it is nice item a little bit of a teaser like i said I did find pokemon products i did find a sealed pokemon product but i found quite a lot of pokemon products so because these are quite large items i'll show you from this angle I got a platinum a platinum supreme victors folder which is mainly empty someone's used it to display just a few cards mainly energy mm, yeah nothing great in there but the folder itself the folder itself is um probably worth something quite sought after from what i saw online it's not in the best condition but apparently it's quite a hard folder to find also from the same buyer uh, same seller there was a sun and moon folder which is empty if i remember yep if i remember rightly it's empty but again it's a nice official product ultra pro folder from 2017 thought i'd grab that why not i actually bought them all in a bundle at the same time um another ultra pro binder from that same seller this one has oh it's got some vantage some vantage pokemon in there which i think i will strip out and show you from the other angle some peekers in there there's no hollows in there so i think somebody might have been through it pilfered it i don't know pillaged taken what they perceived to be the best cards out but there are some nice starters in there so and multiples of them you can see there's at least there's at least three charmeleons in there so i think i'll whip them out of that folder and we'll go through them when we zoom in what else did we get Ooh, what else did we get well i've already teased you with those pokemon products so i might as well show you that from that same buyer uh, same seller i got this tin which is full of a mixture of mainly modern pokemon cards we'll go through that one when we zoom into hold tight for that i also got this final fantasy uh 12 yeah final fantasy 12 play arts figure um of gabranth snatched that up for just three pounds um thinking that it was sealed i didn't really take the time to check i just three pound yep um later on realized that he's missing his swords so probably not worth very much but certainly worth grabbing for three pounds i mean what well, that's got to be like a well it was 3.99 retail <laughs> but i would say it's probably a 20 pound figure had it had its weapons we'll look into that one further i think i also picked up this binder of not pokemon thought it was but it's not battlestar galactica tops cards i did a little search whilst i was stood there saw that some of them are quite valuable don't think i have the valuable ones in here though but worst case scenario still a nice folder I can take the cards out stockpile them somewhere sell them off cheap it's a folder i don't know just two more large items to show you both were pretty disappointing should have been fantastic but we got this lego hobbit set i think it's called battle of five armies i'm not sure Helm's deep maybe but yeah bits missing even though they assured me the seller assured me they're it's all there oh trust me it's all there it's one of the reasons i avoid lego at car boots probably should have stuck to that rule but had it all been there it was around a hundred pound i think set 
I thought it's gotta it's gotta be worth buying. The minifigures are in there, so I think those alone are probably worth what I paid quite easily. There's another Lego set. Another Lego set. Same seller, same stall, same time, same story. Lego Ninjago Dragon set number 2521 should have been a fantastic buy the little white helicopter that comes with it is missing um yeah i've yet to go through that one it's a funny one actually i've seen it sell as little as 30 pounds i think and as high as 100 pounds but for what i paid for it it probably was worth grabbing all the same and don't forget, guys, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, do make sure you subscribe, like, turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Okay, okay. Let's switch it up and look at the smaller items. Boom. Extreme close-up. So what other wondrous items did you find at the car boot? I hear you cry. Pokedon, please show us. Show us. Well, I did also find... I've mentioned already, I did find a sealed vintage Pokemon item from the black and white era, I think it is. Just a little teaser for you there. It will be coming up soon. Don't, don't go skipping. It will be coming up. So, I also found these Eagle Moss, the Hobbit figurines. Something I wouldn't usually have bought, but they were just a pound each. A couple of guys there. Thorin Oakenshield and Dory the Dwarf not checked the values on those yet one of the one of the ones that I did or two of the ones that I did check the value on were these um or, i think they're orcs and they seem to be quite quite good ones to buy so i thought i'd grab them all at a pound each anyway there was only four of them there this guy i think is his name Bol bolg bolg the larger one i think is a 20 pound model something like that Thought they were worth grabbing, so I did. What else have we got? We also grabbed, this is not going to be for resale, but Toothless the Dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. That is for my sister, because <laughs> she's a bit of a fan. She is 29 years old, <laughs> but I'm sure she'll love that. I'm sure she'll absolutely love that. I don't know if you stroke him, maybe. Oh, there we go. You stroke him. He interacts with you. You interact with him. I think I gave three, three pound for it as a gift. Can figure out how to turn it off. Yeah, three pounds. Nice little gift. I'm sure she'll love that. She'll find a place for him. Also, not for resale. Just as a gift. Grabbed a uh, Pennywise. I think he's meant to make noises. It's just a figurine. I'm going to give that one to my stepson. I really did splurge because it was the first week back. I was like, just buy everything, pretty much. Almost. Uh, quite interesting brooch. Guitar brooch. Rolling Stones guitar brooch. Uh, I forget who that one is. Is it Brian? Is it Charlie? Is it Bill? Not sure. <laughs> But I think I gave £2 for it, maybe £3 for it. And it seems to be worth around £15. So not a bad thing to grab. Pretty cool, not sure when it's from. Probably the 70s, I would say. Maybe even the 60s. Made in England. Jewelry brooch. Fabulous Rolling Stones. A rather naff item next. I got these as a gift as well. Uh, for my friend's dad crystallized salt and pepper shakers <laughs> crystallized should be in inverted commas because they <laughs> they are quite clearly garish plastic spiky salt and pepper shakers terrible terrible things i think i'll be embarrassed to give them to him but he does collect salt and pepper shakers and i'm pretty sure he doesn't have those they're terrible they are terrible the seller should have been handing money over to me to take them away, to be honest. 
what else did we find? Okay, so we also found from the Lego seller that gave me the incomplete sets. Bought a Peter Venkman Lego figure. I couldn't work out which set he was from, but some of the Ghostbuster figures from certain sets do command pretty high prices. And I only gave a pound for him, so why not? Why not? We also got a couple of action figures, a vintage G.I. Joe, I forget his name, and I think he's lost his crotch in transit, because I'm sure it was there when I bought him. Very common place for, the, for them to snap around the groin. And a Jurassic Park figure, I'm not sure of his name. I think I've had him before, and I th think he's... One of the rarer ones. I think it's from the Lost World, possibly. But yeah, those two. I think 20 pence each, something like that. You've got to grab them when they're 20 pence each. We also got a Necker Crash Bandicoot, who is unfortunately missing an eyebrow. Quite a large scale figure. Showing the year of him. 2018, I think it says. So quite recent. Um, maybe I could display him. <laughs> I don't know how I'd display him to cover up the eyebrow. In fact, he's lost an eyebrow. But it's pretty good, pretty cool. Very articulated. I'm not sure if he should have come with accessories, probably. Quite possibly. I did do another lap around the car boot and went back to the cellar to ask if they had located the eyebrow, but Lo and behold, no. No eyebrow. Maybe you could do without eyebrows altogether. Does that look better? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Not sure what I'll do with him. But yeah. Pretty cool. I think I gave a pound, 50p. I'm not sure. Next to nothing, anyway. Pretty cool. What else we got? So, I also picked up a Mega Drive pad. Simply because I have a Mega Drive that has no pad. That's all right. That, that makes sense. Let's make a complete Mega Drive. So there was a seller there that I frequently frequently see and buy from. Um, he often has a lot of old stock. And he happened to have four copies of this DVD. The best of the Intercontinental Championship WW by Silver Vision. World Wrestling Federation, WWF, but it's not WWF anymore, is it? Um, yeah, four copies. I've I've had many copies of it from him before. Give him two pound a copy, and I think I've been selling them at fourteen or fifteen pounds. Can't go wrong. I thought I might as well grab them. He also had, which took a bit of a punt on, Cash on Robot Hunter, which is a manga DVD. Um, didn't bother to search it up before I bought it. Might even just watch it. Maybe I'll just watch it. And because they were sealed, I know, I know, I know, don't buy sports games. But I bought Madden 2003, two copies of for the GameCube. This one, the seal's gone a little bit. But it's quite irrelevant <laughs> because the turn, it turns out that they're, they're probably not worth buying in the first place. Took a punt. Didn't work out. Doesn't always. Stay away from sports games, guys. I thought with them being American football, they might have a following, but not really, it seems. We also got... Oh, this guy's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. A Vantage. Donald Duck. Marionette puppet. Probably circa... I don't know, it looks like he's weighing it up himself. When are you from, Donald? 1960s, maybe 70s. There's no no uh, date on the back. It just says Walt Disney. Productions made in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. But yeah, I looked him up on the internet just recently. Um, seems to sell for around 15, 20 pounds. Something around that. Pretty cool. Don't remember what I gave for him. Probably not much at all. I really did buy a lot of things a week last Sunday. We also bought these KISS 
unmasked tor um collectible card sets they're both the same set i think there's 180 cards in the set i gave i think three pounds each for them and they seem to sell quite well i think they sell for around 20 pounds each online the guy actually has got a lot more of them the same card set over and over again so i think i'll be buying some more from him might have to invest in some more cases because i think he's run out of cases but pretty cool i've not even checked if they're all in there but he showed me that they were right should we fly through what's in this pokemon tin or binder or shall we go to the sealed item i'm really going to tease you i'm going to save that sealed item until last so guys this is the pokemon tin of mixed cards mainly modern um, but I did get quite a shock when I opened it up and had a little flick through because ting 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 because right off the bat and I have already sleeved it penny sleeved it I found in there first edition dark rapidash which was a massive shock con is a little bit gone it's probably not much value to it but to find a first edition Pokemon card that's a car boot sale I was quite impressed with that Let's have a quick flick through the rest of them. Uh, get rid of the energies. Let's see what we've got. A Manetric, a Brock's Training Method, Salandit, Eevee. These are all from an era that I'm not massively familiar with. yeah i can't remember what i gave for them not a great deal i don't think it was in evolutions not a great deal i think the fold just the empty folders made it worth buying them plus being at a car boot there were people hovering or the potential buyers hovering so i decided to not hesitate and just get the deal done not really looked through them yet what else have we got you know in a hammer, hammer a spoink an air palm oh that's the e-reader 2002 e-reader card see it's quite randomly mixed what's in there we've got everything from 2017 2018 and then just randomly a dark rapid ash and a e-reader card Else we got Mucha Watchog Jinxie Jinxie more, more, more blowing your kisses Fighting Stadium Dees and Dees Cresselia Ryulu Hypnotoxic Laser I thought that said it was from 2022 then <laughs> that's from the future but it's 20, 2012 Oh, another evolutions. Pretty beat up. They're not they're not in the greatest condition because they've been kept in a tin. Floating around in a tin, but but there's a lot there. Another energy, energy. Electric. Let's just fly through these uh chin choo are you Kakuna Matano? Kakuna Matano. Oh, Voltorb Evolutions. Dear dude. Buneary. A couple of trainers. A lot of trainers in here. Electric. A few. Trainer. Trap Inch. Energy. Oh, got a code card. You can try and get it if you want. I'm sure it's being used in other evolutions. Let's see if they work. I'm not sure if they'll work. Try them. Try them. 
What else we got? Okay, we got a Monkey, Crawfish, Heavy Boots, Evolution Sandstrew, Electabuzz, Trubbish, Sneasel, Trainer, 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 Weavile, oh, Reverse Hollow Trainer, Slowbro, this guy, Inke, Trainer, 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 nearly at the bottom of the tin, don't worry. Oh, we've got the, uh, we've still got the, uh, the vintage ones, the vintage ones to look at as well. Match up. Energy, energy, energy. Pincer, Rotom. Let's move that tin out of the way. Energy, 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 energy. Young Goose, Gumi, Sublime, Froakie, Sneasel, 2007 Sneasel, Energy again, Trainer, 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 Trico, Scorupi, Scorupi, don't know how to say that one, I'll be honest, Trainer, Electabuzz, Rosalia, Energy trainer. Last little pile. Another energy trainer. Carnivine, Shinxie, Weedle, Volcanian. Where is he? 2016, I think. Boneary, Stephen, Stephen. Trainer, energy, energy, energy. Trainer, Trainer, Spinder, Trainer, Trainer, Ooh, Nidoran, 2009 Nidoran, and a That's it for those out of that 10. Should we look at the ones from the folder? Or the sealed item? I think we'll look through the folder first. <laughs> it's easy until the end. So, after some struggle, we have freed up all the Vontage cards from that that purple binder. Um, some of them were shoved in there, the duplicates shoved in there, as many as sort of 10 in one pocket. So it was a bit of a struggle. But we got them out in the end, and there is quite a stack, quite a good number of cards in there. So let's get into them and have a little look, eh? So I did remember when I started going through the folder, the story behind it. The seller told me that a relative had given their old collection, minus the shinies, um, to her son. Her son had got into it, into Pokemon for a short time, got bored of it. Ooh, Charmeleons. Three Charmeleons. Got bored of it. Regular Chimchar in there, just randomly. Um, got bored of it quite quickly. So that explains the, the huge mixture of modern and vintage cards and the big gap in between as well. Nidoran, Niran, Oddish, 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 lot, quite a lot of Oddishes. Goldeen. They seem to vary in condition from. Oh, we've got a Ferro Singe there. Is that a French? French Monkey? Random French Monkey in there. Uh, they seem to vary in condition from light played to heavy played. There's nothing really mint in there, I wouldn't say. Meow, that's right. One, two, three, four, plenty of mouths. Sea King. Bell Sprout. Seems to be a lot of Bell Sprouts. Execute, execute, but yeah, no hollows, unfortunately. Eevee, nice card. One, two, three, four, five Eevees. So that's the first stack. What else do we have? Star U, Sandshrew, Retartatatata, Pidgey, Poliwag, 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 Poliwag. Ooh, some Pikachus in there. Pretty rough around the edges. Yeah, pretty rough around the edges. Oh, Nidoran's had it rough. Metapod, Coughing, Ghastly, Bulbasaur, two Bulbasaurs, three Diglets, Drowsy, Drowsy, Rhydon, Random Litwick, Random Porygon, Bulbasaur again. So this is moving on to the, 
this is moving on to the modern ones. The, this, the folder seemed to, towards the end, turn to moderns. Venusaur should have probably done this in better order. So we're going to go back into vintage after this. Tarko, La Vesta. Well, there is some hollows at the modern. Witzel, Croconaw, Floatzel, Palkia. That's hollow. I can speak to you. Flussel. Jinxie. Yeah. At least 2017 mainly, I think. Stumpfisk. Some trainers. Ultra Ball Reverse Hollow. Yeah, still a really cool thing to find at a car boot sale. Nearly as cool as the sealed product. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Still teasing, still waiting. Abra, very rough. Abra, Abra, Abra. Ooh, Charmanders. Did notice that there's a difference in 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 the coloration on the Charmanders. I think it was when I was looking through. So they're from different print runs. It's got a crease. Quite a lot of Charmanders there. Not a terrible thing to have. Onyx. Oh, Matchup was the one that was. <laughs> there was tons of Matchup shoved into one sleeve. Oh my god, all the matchup. Voltorb, Tangler, Starmie, 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 Squirtle, just a single lonely Squirtle, a Vulpix or two, a Weedle, three Weedles, Zubat, Seal, Seal, Eradicate, Porygon, a couple of Magmas, Kakuna, Ivysaur, a couple of Magikarps, Machoke, Quite a lot of Machokes, three Machokes, Venonat, Spiro, Paras, 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 Paras. Oh, Pikachu Red Cheeks from, is that Jungle? Yeah, Jungle. It's not the Pikachu Red Cheeks, is it, that we want to see? But it's got a Red Cheek Pikachu. <laughs> I think they're all red. Raihan, Cubone, Weeping Bell, Rapidash, Farfetch'd. Farm 2000, Persian, Parasect, Lickitung, All the Glooms, Nidorah, Nidorina, Butterfree, 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 Artillery, again from 2000, Scooter, Parasect, and a Scyther. I don't think we'll bother to look at the trainers and the energies, but that's, that's a stack of those. So, what was the vintage Pokemon item that I found at the car boot? At first glance, I was just woo, ridiculously excited because I thought it was a Checklane blister pack. It's not, but it's still very cool. It's from the black and white era, and it is this. A Victini. Not, not a booster. I thought it was a booster when I saw it. But it's a, a mini sticker book with 450... 450 stickers in it and it includes an exclusive foil sticker apparently not bad not a bad thing at all to find at a car boot sale it is from 2011 and yeah to survive all that time sealed i don't think it's a particularly valuable thing i'll probably just keep it probably hang it somewhere but pretty cool eh imagine that Finding a sealed Pokemon item at a car boot sale. And then having the seller say to you, Oh, you should have come by earlier. I had loads of sealed Pokemon items. No! That's the last thing you want to hear at a car boot sale. Haunting words. Oh, I had loads of them earlier. Someone came and bought them all. Oh. But yeah. If you're not first, you're last. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Do make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out on any future content. Peace.